How's it going guys? Welcome back to another segment of my 240 build. I just want to clarify what I kind of meant on the last video at the end because I was tired. It was midnight. We just got done with the swap. Uh, so we started this channel to document our builds. So this is the next installment for that. Uh, for the VH swap, like we had our first episode uh, where it kind of went over all the parts, um, we're gonna stick to that. And for those of you that just wanna look at the VH swap and you don't really want too much information, uh, we're just gonna do small little videos like that. So let's get started on today's project. On today's episode, we are gonna be stripping down the motor, seeing what we can delete, and cleaning it up, because this thing is nasty. I don't know if you can see that. It's just covered in oil. So, the gasket set that I got comes in today, so tomorrow we will jump on getting all the new gaskets and seals in. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit slow process because we're gonna start kind of taking everything off so we're not fighting it off the car. So first thing, we're gonna pull the throttle body off, then the intake, and well, actually, all the stuff that's hooked up to the intake, then the intake. So Aaron just broke loose the throttle body. Just need to spin these loose. What we're doing, you don't really have to do if you're doing this swap, but we want to go through it and clean it, but for those of you that are just gonna put it in, I might wanna change your, or I might change your mind because look inside here. It's gross. There's leaves built up. There's oil. Oil. There's a, just a mess of wiring and hoses that. Yeah. And it's nice to like take it apart, especially if you're putting it into a 240 to be a track car, just go through and delete stuff that you don't need. We got the manifold off and uh, there's a lot of shit. We should have probably used the air compressor and sprayed all the leaves out uh, just so they wouldn't get into the cylinder. But we've been kind of carefully making sure that they don't go in. And it's actually really surprising because these uh, runners are super clean in the head. Like, I would not believe that this motor had 250,000 miles on it if all I could see is that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look at the outside and you're like, yeah, this motor's gonna be fucking nasty. Well, since the camera died, we don't know when it died, but everything's taken off so we can clean it. Uh, all taped up, so none of the water's gonna go into the intake or any oil spots. Thank you. Oil passages. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna take it outside and spray it down with degreaser and let it soak for a little bit. So we're using this uh, engine degreaser that we got from O'Reilly's. It's gunk engine cleaner. We've used the original and the foamy. And it's funny with the foam, it sits on there and when it kind of builds up, it just falls off. Look at down here. There's all the shit that's come off of it just from sitting here.
guys, it's getting there. Like, I'll show you the front and the whole motor. Dude, this was covered black. Now there's just little spots that like the front timing cover we're gonna pull off and we'll actually clean in brush it and everything and then uh, paint it so we're almost there we can bring it back aside and then start disassembling it Whoa. Uh, so we're taking coil packs off to take the valve covers off we noticed when we kind of de-taped the intake, we did get some water in there. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, we do have to somehow make sure all the water's out of the cylinders. So Michael's just taking off the oil pan uh, so we can get the timing cover off and all of that and reseal the, the oil pan. Uh, but we did happen to find out that this motor has a lot of sludge in it. So, uh, what, you want to talk about it? Yeah, I mean, the motor has 250,000 miles on it. So, it's kind of a given. Um, by the time the season's over, we're going to run it like this. But uh, next season, we're going to tear it all down and go get it uh, hot tanked and all cleaned up. So, hopefully it lasts me all season. It should. Um, but it's just disappointing to see. So... We had planned on, you know, going through, painting the block, painting uh, the heads and everything, getting everything real nice and pretty, but um, I think what we're gonna do, kind of our general consensus was, uh, rather than spending the time to do that, since it's just gonna get hot tanked this winter anyways, um, that we'll leave it just the, the raw aluminum for now, paint like the timing cover, the intakes, the valve covers, all of that stuff. And then once it gets hot tanked in the winter, we'll go ahead and, uh, um, I'm so distracted by the weather. It's so loud in here. Yeah, uh, we'll repaint it after everything gets hot tanked. So for the smaller parts, we decided to give them a simple green bath. Um, and then some of the stuff that's like got coolant, like the flanges that are all crusted up, we're going to uh, dunk them in some CLR and clean them up even more but um, what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go through all of this and scrub it down clean it up make sure we're we're all pretty um michael is getting ready to clean up some more stuff on like the alternator and everything um he's actually seeing if the ka1 is similar enough to use on the vh and uh then we're gonna try to get everything ready so that all we have to do tomorrow is just throw gaskets on and put this thing back together. So I'm over here taking these valve cover gaskets off and I already got the other one off, but this gasket should be all like rubber. It's hard. Like that, that, that's supposed to be soft plastic and it just broke. Or not plastic, but rubber. So, it's just being a bitch coming off. Just be sure. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Yeah, so when I got these headers, they packaged it with peanuts, pack it, packing peanuts and they're just all inside of here i mean we thought about leaving them inside and it'd probably create some fireballs you know spitting out but it just is annoying because every time we pick them up more peanuts come out so we're just checking now aaron thinks he got all of them out so some of them were like lodged in there so we're putting one down to make sure like it goes all the way out Well, we got a lot done. Uh, you got all the intake runners cleaned up. They turned out really nice. Uh, Michael simplified the 
underside of the manifold, took out a bunch of vacuum lines. We've got the timing covers ready for paint, the valve covers pretty much ready for paint. This is all ready to be resealed. Um, we're just packing up the car because we're going to take the end of this video to Michael's house uh, where we're going to paint those uh, components there where it's a little warmer and where we can kind of chill, put some paint down, go watch TV or whatever and come back. We're not like just sitting here freezing our asses off. So that's our game plan right now. Um, everything's coming along great. I think we're going to be on track for putting this thing back together tomorrow. Uh, Michael's got to fix some electrical for the injectors, rewrap it because everything's really sensitive and or fragile. And then like the knock sensor harness was uh, destroyed. Yeah, the wire just ripped out of the harness. Yeah, like well, it like split. Like, yeah. Like you would expect like a a string to do once it had worn out. It was weird. So uh, that's what we're gonna tackle tonight. But we're just gonna clean up the rest of the shop and then. Uh, Stop at O'Reilly's and head back to his house to finish everything up. Yeah. All right, so we made it back to my house. We have the uh, headers all set up and the valve covers over here to paint. Um, took us long enough uh, at O'Reilly's because we were trying to find hoses for the coolant because uh, they're awkward sizes and they're only like this big. Um, but it's so nice not having my car in here but all my storage is here. Well, not all of it, but it still needs to get moved. <laughs> so we're gonna get started on Peyton and I am going to start on the wiring, you know, taking all the old crusty electrical tape off and then rewrapping it with new stuff and soldering that knock sensor wire back together. Well, we're straight hot box in the garage with some spray paint, but headers are coming out nice. Um, Michael's over here picking apart wiring potato chips or something. Uh, one thing that I found out that I kind of just discovered is that uh, if your paint is too cold, it's gonna be it's gonna spray like shit, uh, which I knew. But a nice way to deal with that is just give it a little warm bath, and uh, that actually changed a lot for me. Um, it was, it was, I was honestly surprised. So good, uh, good little tip to have. All right, well, we got the, uh, the headers all painted. They turned out really nice, I think. Uh, the flat black really does them well. Valve cover's got a couple coats of paint on them. I'm gonna keep going until uh, we run out um, of the white. Michael's over here getting something. What are you doing? The spark plug covers cleaned up. He's gonna get those cleaned up, and uh, one of them was cracked, so he's gonna repair that. And I still gotta paint the timing covers, um, but I'm waiting for something to dry, so I've got room to. But yeah, everything's turning out really great. So I got one of the, I was mistaken before, not spark plug cover, coil pack cover. And as you can see, yeah, it's really black once it's cleaned up. That one's kind of brown. So what I do is use a hand cleaner, like for your greasy ass hands. Use that, scrub it down with a brush and your hands and all the dirt comes off. Uh, I kind of found this out the other day. I was just experimenting. I had to replace something on uh, the Audi and I took it all apart, cleaned all the plastics and it came out black. I was like, holy shit, it does not match anything else. So I got to do other stuff now to clean it up. So I'll show you kind of what I do. With some hot water, kind of rinse it off. Then I have uh, orange goop from O'Reilly's. Squeeze a couple of squirts into your hand. Kind of rub it on. Might want to just squeeze some on just to the cover. And just go to town. So, when we 
pulled this uh, harness that goes under the intake manifold. Um, we noticed this wire got cut. Where is it? And it just snapped off super easy. It actually looks like it's been repaired because it has heat shrink on it already. So it just probably wasn't a good uh, solder or whatever they did. Uh, but I'm going to clean it all up and solder it back together. All right. Well, that is going to do it for tonight because I have to stop what I'm doing with the wiring because it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. Uh, I forgot the wire strippers so I could solder these wires. Uh, I got up because I'm sitting on the ground. Uh, went to sit down to grab the wire strippers and I didn't have them. So... Aaron's done painting. He was pretty much just waiting on me. Uh, he's kind of heating up the paint just so it cures better. So we can move it. Oh, well, that too. We can move it. But that's going to do it for this video. So see you next time. Peace. All right, guys. Well, Michael's just pulling off the oil pan so we can get the... Ah!